Okay, so another method that you might not have thought to use is to actually browse other websites and look for products that are selling well. And a cool way to do that is to actually just use ebay.com. Now, I'm not a fan of eBay. I've only bought a couple things off here in the past. And I know there's, I've actually got a few friends who sell stuff on eBay. eBay, they do retail arbitrage on eBay and they buy products and then sell them on eBay at a premium price and just make a bit of a profit. But a cool way to find products is you're on the eBay homepage. We can scroll down and look for products that we might not have thought of before. So scroll down all in one. Let's have a look. Uh, that doesn't look very good. Brighten up your daily bread. Okay, your daily bread. Let's have a look at what they've got in your daily bread category. A Jacob Bromwell All American Flour Sieve Sifter. Okay, see similar items. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so this looks like something that could be interesting to sell. A flour sifter. Okay, let's have a look. So we can copy flour sifter and search that on Amazon and see how well they're doing. Now, when you're searching, make sure that you're in the all category right over here. Because if you search for a specific category, it's going to show you products competing with this product directly in a small category. We want the overall selling ranking and selling search history for this product. So hit search. And let's have a look. Okay, so this is a very weird product. I've never used this or heard of this. So it is not as expensive as I thought it would be, $7, $11. But you can see they're, they're priced down, so maybe they do sell for higher. And the initial rankings aren't too bad, the initial reviews. 250, 24, 870, that's quite a big one, but it is an Amazon choice as well. 21, uh, 678, 250. Okay, so this is an all right -ish product. It's not too difficult. If you do have enough budget for PPC and stuff like that, you could easily break into this. But let's, let's take a look and find another product. Yeah, cheese mill grinder. There we go. Let's have a look. What is that? Cheese mill grinder. Okay. So, oh wow. This is definitely something you could do. So, let's take a look. It's got one review that is one star. So, people obviously want something improved upon on this. So, let's click on it and see what people are saying about this product. Return for refund would not turn. Okay, so it obviously it didn't work. They couldn't turn this thing and it wasn't grinding their cheese. It's a good listing considering the, the images are very high quality and they're not very high res or else it would zoom in like that. So Amazon prefers this as well. If you have high quality images that zoom in, uh, they I think they take that into account for ranking your product as well. So it's got bad reviews. You could compete with this guy no doubt. And you can see his ranking history since the 23rd of June. Let's see. So let me explain what this means. So this is using that plugin called Keeper again. The sales rank improved and then dropped and then improved and then dropped and improved and dropped and improved. Now what this means is that the product sells, sells, sells and then runs out of stock so you lose your rank and then they replenish their inventory and it sells, sells, sells and then runs out of stock again. That's the only reason they drop rank so quickly. So this is something that you could sell well and you can see that it is selling out. So that's a good sign. Now there's another plugin for Chrome, which we will find in the, the extensions section of the resources document as well. But I prefer it to Jungle Scout, the paid Jungle Scout extension in any case, because I feel that it's very accurate and it does give you a little extra uh, things that you can do with it that the Jungle Scout uh, plugin doesn't provide. So click on show scope after you've installed the plugin and we can have a look. Okay, so it shows you some examples of keywords that have been searched for. Parmesan cheese grater. So that's what they're ranking for at the moment. Coarse cheese grater and hand grater. So it's only doing five sales a month, this product specifically. Um, which isn't very good at all. That's horrible. So that's out. That's a product that's out. It's not selling well. But maybe the others are selling well, considering that that's got a very bad ranking. Cole and Mason cheese chocolate murder. Scroll down, three seventy. They are not very ranked very high. These products. He has a Victoria traditional grain mill. Let's have a look at this. Three left in stock. Okay, show scope. Estimated sales month ten. Okay, so this is not a very good category to sell in. These are examples of bad products. Then don't sell these. But you can see that it did run out of stock and then regained its rank 
So they probably are selling a little bit more than that every month. We could try um, a different category for the same product, but that's another example. Let's go back to eBay and we'll do a third one. Um, Western corn cutter, rotary cheese. Let's drop out this category. Let's see what else we've got. Let's go back. We went into bread for some reason. I don't know. That's a weird category. Let's go into home and garden. Um, home improvement, home decor. Home decor. Let's have a look what they've got in home decor. Now this obviously does take a while and it's a lot faster with the Jungle Scout extension which you'll see in the following videos. But this is an example if you don't want to actually have to buy an extension. Or even use it in conjunction with the extension because you can find good products that are very unique and things that you wouldn't think of selling. 3D DIY wall clock, that looks interesting. I like the sound of that. So let's go back to Amazon and search for 3D DIY wall clock in all. There we go. So these are selling, ah, oh, $16. So that's a good range, that's our price range. 81 reviews, 348, that's quite high. 164, seven, 156. This is something you could break into. So like I said before, you can show scope and now scope also works on the listing pages so you can see the estimated sales of the products. So 386 isn't too bad, 59, these are these are quite low sales. What I generally like to look for is an amassed 2,000 to 4,000 sales within the top 10. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So within 10, I would say you need about 4,000 sales amongst them, two to 4,000 sales. That means that profits can be split amongst all the sellers. But if you were to enter into this, you'll only get a portion of these sales. So if you were to add these up, that's probably just under 1,000. Um, that wouldn't be that much profit on your, your side. So that's basically judging the demand of the product to see how many sales it's getting in total. And it's not that much. So that's another method using eBay. Onto the next video.